Hi, hello everyone. This is Priya Darshini, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to talk about marginal casting. Introduction about marginal caste. Marginal casting is not a method of caste ascertainment like job casting or contract casting. It is helpful in determining the profitability of product, departments, process and cost center. Next one is a definitions according to ICMA London. The amount at any given value of output by which aggregate cost are changed if the volume of output is increased or decreased by one unit. In practice this is a measurement measurable by the total variable cost to one unit. Next one is the characteristics of marginal cost. Marginal cost is based on the distinction between fixed and variable. Only variable costs are applied in products. The stock of work in progress and finished goods are val valued at variable cost. Marginal income or marginal contributions is called as a income or net profit. Fixed cost remain constant the irrespective of level of activity. The sales price and the variable cost per unit remain the same. These are the characteristics of marginal costing. Next one is a cost volume profit analysis. The cost volume analysis of three level of variance that is cost, volume and profit. It is made to measure to variance of cost and profit with the value. The terms of CVP that is cost, volume, profit. The first one is a fixed cost. It represents those expenses which do not vary in total in which the change in volume of output for the given period of time. Fixed cost per unit will change with the changes in the level of production. Next one is a variable cost. It represents those expenses which increase or decrease in proportions to the output of sales. Next one is a contributions. The expenses of selling price over and above the variable cost is known as contributions. How to calculate the contributions? Contributions equal to selling price minus marginal cost or total sales minus total variable cost or fixed cost plus profit. Next one is a profit volume ratio. Profit volume ratio equal to contributions divided by sales into 100 or contribution ratio sales minus variable cost divided by sales into 100 or contributions per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. When two periods product profits and sales are given which on the time the profit or sales is given to the PV ratio that means Profit volume ratio equal to change in profit divided by change in sales into 100. Next one is a break even analysis. The break even analysis is a method of studying the relationship between revenue and cost in relations to sales value of a business enterprise and determine the value of sales at which total equal to revenue. It refers to a system of determine of level of activity whether the total sales equal to total cost. What is the break even point? The break even point is the one of the point where the total sales are equal to total cost. This point is represent to no profit no loss or zero profit zero loss. So this is a break even analysis chart. The break even point formula goes to break even point equal to fixed cost divided by sales price unit minus variable cost per unit. The middle point is goes to represent for the break even point. That means 
loss there is no one loss no one profit the center point is called as a break even point next one is a marginal costing yes sales minus cost of sales cost of sales means opening opening inventory variable cost of production less closing inventory after that we are less the value of other variable cost that means contributions less fixed cost we are go going to getting the final answer for profit or loss thank you